Hello and welcome to TechSeed Tutorials. In last tutorial, we looked at uh, class keyword and how to create classes in JavaScript. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to create subclasses by extending those classes. And I'll show you some cool tricks in this tutorial. And at the end of the tutorial, I'll show you where to use classes because you just don't want to cl use classes anywhere. There are specific applications, especially in JavaScript, and I would show you where to use them. And by the way, all the code samples in this tutorial will be on the TechSeed website, and I'll provide a link here, and also I'll put, put a link inside the description so you can find it. I'm trying to make it more structured so people have some context when they're looking at the code example, rather than just providing a code example, so please look at it. So classes, as we looked at in last tutorial, are nothing but blueprints to create objects. And I would say it has three important things. It would have properties, and it would have a constructor that would initialize those property, and it would have methods that would manipulate those properties. Properties are initialized when you create an object using a constructor, and after that, you use methods to manipulate them. So that is a simple way of looking at, at classes. And subclass is nothing but another a class. So it's also a blueprint which has all the class properties it will have a constructor, properties, and methods. On the top of it, it would inherit all the base class properties and methods. But remember, internally, it's still using the old prototypal inheritance. All right, so let's look at an example. And I'm gonna use a mammal example because when you look at inheritance, a mammal example is fitting. All right, so let's create our base class called mammal. So I'm going to say class mammal and inside I would have constructor which is called constructor. It, this would set our initial properties. First uh, argument would be legs cause mammals have legs at least the one I know and it would have a name and I'll give a default name because just in case if it doesn't have a name we can set it up. So I'm going to call it John Doe which means if you don't give it a name it will be a John Doe by default. All right, so inside you would just say this dot uh, legs equal to legs. This dot name equal to name. And inside I can have something that is true for all the mammals. So I don't really have to set, I have to just um, set a property. I can say this dot warm blooded equal to true because all mammals are warm, warm blooded. All right, so let's add our first method to it. I'm just gonna give it a method called walk because mammal can walk and it would just simply say return I can use a template string and it would say if you know what template strings are I have a tutorial on it this dot name we're gonna call the name first and I'm gonna say is walking so in this case it would say John Doe walking or John walking or Texit walking, whichever name you pass it. All right, so that's it for the, the base class. Now let's create a subclass called bat because bat is kind of a mammal. So you would say class bat and then you have to say ex extends mammal. So extends means the mammal is going to be the base class and bat is going to be subclass, which means bat will inherit all the properties and methods of mammal. All right, so it will have its own constructor. So I would say constructor and we'll set the property in a minute. So what do I pass in here? So it, I would have to pass all the properties that I need to set in mammals in here as well. So it would have legs, a name, and I would have an extra property for the subclass that is not inside mammal which is called eats meat which means is he is he a vegetarian or not and since i have already a constructor that sets the legs names and warm blooded i don't really need to do it here again that's why we use subclasses so there's something common you don't have to duplicate it so here i would just simply say super legs what it will do it would call this constructor with these arguments and since it can have its own uh, properties as well which is this dot eats meat equal to eats meat 
Oh, actually, I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be underscore because these variables are underscore. All right, and bats can fly. So we can have a method called fly. And fly method obviously is not in mammal because not all mammals can fly. Only bats can fly. So here I would say return this dot is flying. Also here, um, bat would inherit mammals walk um, method. However, I can overwrite this walk method here um, by defining bat's own walk method. So I can say walk and and based on if it's uh, if this bat is a vegetarian or meat eater, I would create a variable called holding equal to let's say if he's eating eats meat, then he would say bug. Else it would say carrot. And then it would walking with it. So I would say return super dot walk. So this would actually call the the walk method here. And this would return the name is walking. And I can say with a holding. So which means let's say if it's a vegetarian bat, then it would be um, John Doe walking with a carrot. John Doe walking with a bug. So here's my class mammal and here is a subclass bat. Now it's time to create an object from this subclass. Let's say let fruit bat equal to new bat. Remember you have to use a new keyword to create an object from from classes and it has four legs and its name is Peter and he doesn't eat meat so I would just say false which means he's a vegetarian so if I look at console log fruit bat so here I have a bat with it's a vegetarian bat because it's a eats meat is fault it has four legs his name is Peter and is warm blooded, warm blooded. And if I look at his prototype, I would have a constructor. It has a constructor and it has two methods, fly and walk. And in Chrome, if I just hover over these methods, I can see actually the definition of this method. So I can know, I would know what exactly they are. If I hover over bat, I can see the entire bat. So if I say food bat dot walk and execute it, uh, this name is walking, which, which means I made a mistake somewhere. Ah, uh, here I should have done this. If I run it again, it says Peter is walking with a carrot. So our bat. Uh, named Peter is walking with a carrot. So that's how you create a subclass. Now let me show you some interesting uh, tricks so you can simplify this further. And this example, anyway, anyway is too cluttered, so I wanna I wanna use a little bit simpler simpler example. So let's say if I take the same base class, mammal, and inside I have a constructor which has let's say has many arguments so it will have a b c d and e i would have to write you know this dot a equal to a this dot b equal to b and all that stuff right so instead i can just simply say object dot assign and here i can say this a B C D E and that should do it and when I create a subclass from this here I would have so I have a constructor which will have all the all the A to E arguments so instead I can use spread operator 
a rest parameter, should I say, and I can just say args, which represents all the arguments inside here as an array. And inside I can just say super args. And let's say if I want to have its own property, bet's own property, um, I would put it in the front. So I would just say, let's say f is bet's own property, then I would use two arguments. One is f and second is args. So I can simply say this dot f equal to f here. So now if I create const new bet equal to bet f a so if I look at the console log new bet oh, I forgot the new keyword here I would see a a b b c c d d and e so it has appropriate values. Also, another important thing is that within the, the base class constructor, let's say if I console log uh, would say new dot target dot name inside the bat, I would just simply say super and run this. This would give me bat even though this is inside the mammal target because I'm actually calling bet. So this new dot target also if I simply do new dot target this would give me the entire constructor of so this new dot target actually is a very useful uh, to understand where which constructor I am running. Another important thing is is inside the base class you don't really have to have constructor. If you don't provide a constructor, it it creates an empty constructor for you. So you don't need it here. But within the bat, you have to have a constructor. And the reason is, you have to have a super here. If you don't call it, let's say if this has a constructor but doesn't have a super, it would give an error. So if I run this, I would get an error. Must call super constructor in derived class. Derived class is nothing but subclass. So now that we will understand how classes work, the most important question is where do we use them? So right thing to do is don't use it where I only have a one le level of inheritance. So let's say you have some class and you are you're creating one sub subclass from it. And you're not creating any subclass from those subclass and then subsequently you know creating a, a long tree structure if you have done any kind of framework you're probably seen that now they're using class keywords so for example if i look at react so i can do something like this so i can say import react from react which react is a one giant library right which has so many methods in it and if i want to have my own methods then I'm just gonna simply say class whatever context ex extends react component so react component is a giant library and I'm gonna have my constructor but just by calling super and then it would have a, like a render method which is my own uh, method so this is only gonna go one level deep before introduction of classes you used to use also extended where the extend function was a polyfill which would basically copy all the uh, methods that are in the react component into this uh, context the next tutorial we are going to look at is static methods and i'll provide a link here and i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did please like subscribe and provide a constructive comment thank you